Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Monster video. So in today's video, we're going to be reviewing this new tail challenge that literally just started today. And this monster, you do not want to miss out on. So I hope you guys are excited if you are. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So some of you guys recently have asked me what rank am I personally going for? Well, I personally haven't decided yet. I will go ahead and decide in today's video. But here is my suggestion for you guys. If you have a lot of gems, I'm talking about lots and lots of gems, then try to go for as high rank as possible. Now here's the thing, for those of you guys that actually invested in at least maybe like 100 or slightly more than that tokens from like Monster World and all the other events, I would highly recommend um, going for rank four and then spending the remaining tokens that you got for the remaining cells so that way you save gems um it's just something you should be doing i mean i think that's the common sense but i just wanted to still put it out there because these chests you want to take advantage of these you know what i mean like this one right here one token for 26 cells i mean who who why why not you know what i mean it saves you gems so if you could go for like at least let's say up to this key right here and you stop the remaining cells you can go ahead and get for free you don't even have to spend gems all you have to do is just go through those boring chests click on them once in one and then eventually get them all so just wanted to throw that out there now um again like i mentioned i haven't actually decided what rank i'm going to go for but i'm going to go ahead and decide in today's video and again for those of you guys that have a lot of gems try to go for as high rank as possible um i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the stat sheets um like all the collection sheet and stuff like that in a second so if you guys want to go ahead and take screenshots or come back to this video whenever you want you can so we just got the chicken legs now some of you guys are actually having issues with the conjuring event challenge where let's say you complete more than one and it just shows us one and you only get the 200 tickets that's a bug for now okay i'm sure they'll fix it soon so just wanted to throw that out there so if let's say you've done a lot of nodes and all you've gotten is the 200 tickets and not these ones it's a bug okay hopefully they fix it um we're gonna go ahead and do this fighting note oh look at that background we're entering like a icicle dungeon yeah that's what it looks like except that it's not really icicle monsters should be though right throw in a bunch of monsters like frost wrath frostbite and maybe this guy sky cold um so yeah uh we got the breeding we can do in a second so what, what are we thinking of breeding we could do maybe fire and nature. Does that work still? Oh, I guess it does. Eh. Okay, we'll take it. And obviously, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on and jump. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Do I not have confirmation on? I still had to do one one of the gold collection. Okay, so I went ahead and turned it on. Now, here's the thing, guys. Um, before we get into, you know, before we continue the tail challenge, I do want to show you guys this. So. This is on uh, one of the Discord servers named Monster Legends Guides. Now, again, you can come back to this video whenever you want or take screenshots. So take a look at this. If you want to go for 50 cells only, which I don't understand why you do that. But let's say if you do, it's going to cost you zero gems. And all you have to do is you do all your collections. You log back in within eight hours. You continue doing that for a day and then one hour and 20 minutes. In total, you're going to collect 25 gold, 14 feeding and four battles. And then you're going to use the zero gems and move on to the 30 cells. And then you repeat that again. Log in every eight hours. You know, do your collections and everything. Eventually, within two days and nine hours and 20 minutes into the event, you're going to have, uh, what you called? You're going to have 49 gold, 27 feeding, and seven hatchings done. And it's going to cost you zero gems. Um, so that's a total time right there that's going to take you. If you want to go for rank zero, just the egg, you know, 100 cells. It's going to cost you 163 gems. Like I always mention, I highly recommend having at least 170 to maybe 180 or something or around 200 ish just to be safe if you miss out on one of the collections. Uh, because if you do miss out on collections, that's just a waste of time. You're going to have to spend more gems. So, you know, you don't want to just end off with like 50 cells and you can't finish off the rest unless you can actually get into the collections, right? Like every eight hours, you actually like consistently log in even at nighttime. So, yeah um 46 gems uh within 12 hours into the event you have to uh basically have 15 golds 10 feeding and two battles done and then use the 46 gems and move on to the next one um now it's gonna cost you 163 gems like i mentioned or rank one is gonna cost you 386 gems same exact process for them all okay you want to just do the same exact thing for all of them now if you want to go for a rank two 
703 gems that is a bit pricey but if you want to go for that a lot of you guys are probably going to go for rank 3 because of the megatons you really want that megaton it's going to cost you 1446 gems again 1446 gems now if i go back to the game i have three i have 1300 gems so um i already missed out on one of the collections um sort of i'm like probably five hours late into the event or six hours so i think i'm personally gonna go for rank three so rank three and then i'm gonna get the key and then on top of that um i'm gonna spend the remaining tokens on probably i think this one right or is it this one i think it's this one 13 cells every time i really want to 26 cells but we just got to play out with the amount of gems that we have so again go for as high as possible you know the rank if there's a rank you want to go for as high as possible because this mythic is pretty good last mythic we kind of had similar to this monster was cryer crawler and you guys remember back in cosmic era cryer crawler was very very good it was released somewhere around here there it is when he got released I started working on him, I maxed him out, maxed him out eventually, throughout the whole Cosmic Era he was used. And then moving on to Corrupted Era, I was still using him, he was still pretty good. So it's going to be one of those monsters that's going to be good for a while, so it's a good investment I would say. Um, but yeah, looks like I'm going to have to actually get through the 30 cells here too. So collecting gold, we're going to go ahead and do real quick. Also. We're going to check out the uh, winner of the monster of the year. Look, it literally says, and the winner is that, that, that. So I think they finally picked the winner. What do you guys think it would be? It has to be Ural, right? It's either Ural, Serpentex, or Voltic Redeemed. One of the three. Probably Voltic Redeemed because people really like them, um, his design. And Voltic in general, like every single one of the Voltics that they released, people just love the design seriously even me i actually like the design all right and that counts as hatching we will take it so sometimes when it gets to fighting multiplayer i don't think that makes a big of a difference really well for me i i don't think it really does i've tried before like i do the all fighting multiplayer and it brings it down by like 30 40 gems 40 gems for like nine multiplayer i mean it's up to you if you want to do it Okay, that was just a random number that I just threw right there. Probably like 50 gems the most, but... Honestly, I don't want to do the 9 battles PvP. It's just too much. It's time consuming. Um, so we're going to spend the 500 gems, you know? Let me let me actually see. So we're going for rank 3, right? So we have to... Oh, wait. I have to use 258 gems on the 30 cells. 16 hours into the event. Yeah, it hasn't been 16 hours then, so I have to keep doing collections, bring it down as much as possible. And then 16 hours later, I'm going to go ahead and jam it. Okay, well, that saves me a lot of gems. Cool. So, yeah, uh, with that being said, you guys ready for the monster of the year? Let's go ahead and tap on it. A Voltaic Redeemed. Yeah, yep, Voltaic Redeemed. Wait, who got the second most? Was Serpentix? Serpentic got the most votes, or second most votes. I will crush you. Why does it say I will crush you? What the heck? <laughs> you guys see that? Monster of the Year 2022, every single one of them, and then it says I will crush you. Barbasol Rex last. Obviously, Barbasol Rex was the last one. And then Darman. I would have been surprised if Darman was number one, honestly, but I think he deserved it, honestly. I wonder if they got give out any rewards. I don't think they did. I don't think they actually give out any rewards, but wow, that's a that's a lot of voting. So that's a hundred thousand euro and Serpentix. That's a hundred thousand, a hundred sixty-eight thousand somewhere around there. It's almost. I think it's around like two hundred thousand volts altogether. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy indeed. Um, I will go ahead and work on ranking up one of these monsters. Maybe Parchinian. Should we do that one? Let's go ahead and rank that up. And we also got some race results too like race rewards let's go ahead and tap on that so we got 20 cells for zero zone and then on top of that we're getting a rank one with 400 cells and we're getting a permanent avatar for low 10 low 10 all right so we did stop at like 29 laps i believe it was um we decided just let's just stop racing and uh start saving up gems for tails so 
Here is what we're going to do. Why did I go to chest? I want to go to monsters and hatch up this new mythic I just got. Scroll, scroll, scroll. There it is. Zero zone. We're going to go ahead and use it. And it's done. Two days and one hours until it's done hatching. Cool. So, yeah, I don't have to do my collections until later on, basically. I might do some PvP. Why not? Let's just do it anyways. Um, but... Yeah, so there goes the Monster of the Year challenge winner. And also on top of that, we got Super Winter Chest. Winter Chest. Oh, it's just like the Black Friday Chest and the uh, Xmas one. Except it's called Super Winter and just Winter Chest, really. So, you know what? I know you guys easily crush the goal-like amount that I always put out there. We have two days. That's a lot. I'm going to... I'm gonna ask you guys for 700 likes, okay? I don't think you guys will definitely do that. So, 700 likes. If this video gets 700 likes, I will go ahead and open up. I'll do it. I'll do the Super Winter. How's that? Super Winter Chest. Yeah, for 700 likes. You guys have basically about two days or so. So, 700 likes. If this video actually gets 700 likes, I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. So, you can either like this video or don't. <laughs> either way, it helps, okay? <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's Monsters video. Hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to our channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.